How to watch a live stream mass. Hi guys, my name is Ken Yuzinski from catholicspeaker.com. We are in unprecedented times, are we? Sunday's approaching and us as Catholics are not able to do what we normally do on Sunday and that's go to mass because of the COVID virus. So how are we supposed to respond? Without question, we should participate in a live stream mass. And this is what the video is going to be about. But I want to say this, that if your diocese has given guidelines on what to do, I would ask, please follow those guidelines or if they've come from your pastor as well. This is not a replacement of what your diocese has already asked to do, but just see this video as more of a supplement. So let's talk about what to do and what not to do. Let's talk first what not to do. Going and watching a live stream mass is different than watching a movie. You see, here in the Yazinski household, we have family movie nights where our kids get together in this space and we watch a movie. We have five children. Our oldest is nine, our youngest is 18 months. And how we watch a movie is different than how we attend the Holy Mass. See, this is what we do when we watch a movie. Usually the kids wear pajamas. Pajamas. Sometimes they go in my robe. I put on my pajamas. Or my house coat. I think a house coat is the same as a robe. Popcorn, treat, treat, some gummies, some sour Skittles. Lollipops. Minty chocolate. A chocolate. Chocolate. Crispy chocolate. And chocolate. Get a bunch of chocolate. Daddy, what's your favorite chocolate? We have blankets. You turn the lights off. Oh, eat candy. And we sit on this couch. Nine, Dad. And sometimes we lay down. But I don't want my pajamas that you. So you see how we watch a movie is not the way that we would participate in a live stream mass. See, the live stream mass is not there to entertain us because the Mass has nothing to do with entertaining us. And the tendency is when we pick up those screens, we want to be entertained. So the first thing that we have to do is drop the expectation that this is going to entertain us. Because the Mass isn't designed to entertain us. The ends of the Mass, there's four. It's adoration, reparation, thanksgiving, and supplication. Note, that'll be maybe another video, but notice that the four ends of the Mass have nothing to do with us. <laughs> <laughs> and everything to do with God. We worship God on Sunday through the holy sacrifice of the Mass because this is what is due to Him. This is right and this is just. So let's drop the expectations that we need to be entertained. And so when we sit down, uh, we are not going to be having a coffee in one hand and popcorn in the other. Uh, we are not, we're going to get rid of all the distractions in our home. So any other screens, we're, we're turning them off. Uh, we are not going to be on the phone. And if a notification pops up, we're going to check it out to see what's going on on Facebook or Instagram. You know, this is a time that we're giving over to our Lord. Now, we physically can't be at the Mass, but we can act and we should act like we are physically there. So let that be the guiding standard. Act as though you were physically at the Mass while watching a live stream Mass. So when you're about to begin, let's talk about the preparation. So what we're going to do as a family is we're going to get dressed up just like we would dress for a normal Sunday. So we don't typically go to Mass in our pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> we get we get dressed nicely and so we are going to do the same with our family on Sunday when we watch the mass. Uh, we are going to sit not in these not down here where the tendency is just to get comfortable and relax. We're going to pull out our our chairs that are around our kitchen table and we're going to sit down and it'll be a little bit more formal because we want to separate this from the idea of this is supposed to be entertaining. Um, and when we begin, we're going to pull out the holy water and we're going to cross ourselves as we would dip our hand in the holy water when we would enter the church. And we might also just light a candle and put it on our table uh, just to, again, indicate that what we're doing right now is, is special. Now, something that we can do right before the mass begins is we can put our guardian angel to work. The church teaches that each one of us is given a guard, an angel that leads and guides us to heaven. They intercede for us, they protect us. And so what we can ask our guardian angel to do is to attend that mass that we would normally attend and offer prayers on our behalf. This 
practice will just help our relationship with our guardian angel and with little kids. It's gonna, I'm gonna communicate that to our children and that just helps them be aware that they have an angel and their angel can do beautiful things for them. So when the mass begins, what do we do? Well, I would say we do the same things that we would normally do when we attend the Mass. So when the Mass begins, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we respond with the same gestures, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So whatever gesture that you would typically do during the Mass, do that while watching the live stream Mass. It's the same with the responses. When the priest says, the Lord be with you, we respond, and with your spirit. We, we say that out loud. When it comes time for the homily, what should we do? Same thing that we would do if we were physically present at the Mass. We listen. <laughs> we listen to what the priest is, is saying. Now, keep in mind, the sound is not going to be that good. So again, we've got to drop the expectations that we are going to be entertained. And this is going to be easy because likely it won't be. The sound is going to be really poor unless your, your parish has special equipment. If it's just your pastor, he's going to be live streaming from that phone and that microphone is going to be a long way from his lips. So expect the sound to be bad. Regarding the prayers after the homily or all the prayers, just be attentive and say them with the same devotion that you would normally say them if you had been physically present there. Uh, when it comes time for um, the consecration, what should we do? Well, at Mass, we get on our knees. And so at home, what should we do? We should get on our knees. Even though we're not physically present. Now, we're not adoring the screen. We're adoring our Lord, who is present at the holy sacrifice of the Mass in a special way that we, we're not there. We can still adore Him. So we get on our knees. When it comes time for the reception of the Eucharist, what do we do? Well, here's, we physically can't receive Jesus. So what we can do is make a spiritual communion. And that's just a, a prayer that we would say at the time that we would normally receive. So if you don't know what a spiritual communion prayer is, just type in Google, do a little search, and you'll have a whole bunch of pop-up. I, I know that some dioceses have already given out these prayers or will flash them on the screen at that time. If you're not sure what to say and you don't have one that comes on the screen during the live streaming of the Mass, well then, here's a very simple little prayer. At the time of reception, ju just simply say, Jesus, dwell in my heart. That's it. Place your heart and mind upon Jesus and just say, Jesus, dwell in my heart. And I hope some of these ideas will encourage you and help you participate on Sunday in the live stream mass. Uh, maybe you have your own ideas. If you do, just comment below. Maybe they, they'll help people out as well. Um, but all we have to do is be faithful. That's what we have to focus on. We have to be faithful to our duty. And our duty is to give Sunday to God. So we do our best and leave God to do the rest. My name is Ken Yuzinski from CatholicSpeaker.com. Thank you for watching.